Okay, here we have a question about factorising. And what you're trying to do when you factorise is you're trying to look for the, a number that is common to both of these and as high a number as possible. So if I was to look here, 2 and 4, the highest number that is common to both of them is 2. So I could have a 2 outside the front here and I would uh, get the, the 2 in here would disappear. It would be 2 times AB. So that's the, the number that I have common to both of them here. The number, but I also have a letter that's common to both of them. I have an A here and I have an A here. So I could remove out to the front two lots of A. If I do that, what is left? 2A times something is going to give me the answer 2AB. Well, 2A times B would give me 2AB. So I just move the B inside the brackets. Then I have to think... What would I multiply 2a by to get 4a? Well, I'd multiply it by 2, because 2 times 2 is 4, so 2a would give me... So just sort of thinking about what's the highest common factor in these, take it out the front and then in the bracket, and then do a little check. Is it working? If I expand this out, do I get back to what I started with? 2a times b is 2ab. 2a times 2 is 4a. Yes. I get back to where I started. So the nice thing about factorising is if you've done it right and you do your check, you know it's going to be right. But you have to think, is that the highest number I could use? It would be really nice, like in this one, what if I could take out 6b here? The whole of 6b out front. This is, could I do that? Yes. Because if I multiply 6b by 3 lots of a... 6 times 3 is 18, A times B is AB, that would give me 18 AB. If I multiplied 6B by minus 1, I would get 6B minus, times minus 1 is minus 6B. So you're looking for the biggest numbers here. 6 and 18, they both have a common factor, the factor is 6. A, B and B, they both have a common factor, the factor is B. So... And then we just multiply it through. And then we do a quick check. 6 threes are 18. A times B is AB. 6B times minus 1 would be minus 6B. Do we got back what we started with? Yes. So when you're factorising, always do the little check and you make sure that you've got the right answer. Let's have a look here. It'd be nice if I could take 7B outside here. B is in both of them. And 42 is a factor of 7. So I can take out 7 out the front. So 7b, 7b multiplied by 1 would give me 7b. And 7b uh, multiplied by 6a would give me 42ab. 6 7s are 42. a times b would give me ab. So factorising is just working backwards. Okay, so we're looking for the 7 here, and we have a B here, and we have a B here, and this one here is a factor of 7, and therefore we can take it out the front. Then we do our final check. Expand the bracket back out. 7B times 1 is 7B. 7B times 6A, 6 7s are 42. A times B. And that's how we do factorising. <laughs>